Hello the people of the universe, this is the Remus and welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, we are once again going to be playing through the Pirates of the Caribbean mashup pack world, looking for all things music disc. And once again, I've changed my skin, and that's because we're going to be looking at this, uh, this thing now. So, in the videos before, I said that we were going to try and do it chronologically, but like, I've been spawning on this ship for ages and just seeing like this um seeing that ship like in all its glory so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna finally be exploring that and today i'm salazar and that was one of the things that i liked about the movie like the fifth movie was terrible but it looked nice like it looked like a pirates of the caribbean movie and pirates of the caribbean movies look nice that's pretty much the best that i can say about the fifth movie. And, I, well, I can't even say that Jack Sparrow is very good because he really wasn't, was he? Like, you can tell that Johnny Depp just doesn't really care as much as he used to. Oh, this is sucking me down. I thought it was going to push me up. But there's a thing down here with nothing in. And I just got attacked by a ground with a trident. And that's not very good, if you ask me. So, we're going to try and get on top of the ship. And I think the way that we're supposed to is by going through here and this ship just looks amazing <coughs> like there's not really too much i can say about it like because like like the amount of times that i've seen the ship off in the distance i've said everything that i can but it just looks incredible like everything about this ship makes me wish that i could build that it's like a lot of the things i build aren't necessarily well they're not supposed to be the best thing ever they're just supposed to be something with a gimmick and it's not supposed to look incredible it's not supposed to look terrible it just, it's just supposed to make me like it's supposed to fit in with my style like i'm not going to suddenly ask someone else to design a building in my like community world or something because like they might design something as impressive as this but that's not my that's not my style like I just like things that like look funny and have their own gimmick no matter how bad that gimmick may be so yeah that's why I'm a fan of this but I don't like it at the same time um, so let's go up here and so is this like a mob spawner maybe oh it's glass <laughs> I thought it was going to be a mob spawner but I think that's supposed to be like crab things maybe the zombie parrot I think, are you supposed to be a zombie parrot? Why are you trying to, oh that was trying to get on my shoulder. Oh, okay. But yeah, this place looks awesome. Like, this looks so cool. And then like, this was supposed to be a Spanish ship, wasn't it? Because Salazar was the captain of a ship that was supposed to go around killing pirates. And it was completely obliterated by Jack Sparrow. And that's how Jack Sparrow got his name, because he looked like a sparrow in the crow's nest. And, yeah. That's, um, that's pretty much the only good things about the fifth movie. Um, yeah, this place looks awesome, though. And then, obviously, like, it's got the things on the side. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a better view of it from up here. Like, those things on the side that look really awesome. And, yeah, it just looks incredible. And, hello. How are you today? I'm just gonna knock you off, if you don't mind. It's okay, he's dead now. How far can I jump to this guy? I can jump to this guy, and just look at this. It just looks awesome. Like, it's just, it's just amazing. Like, all the detail on this is just incredible. And like, the destroyed hull at the bottom, and the mast has fallen over and everything. It looks so cool. And like this whole thing that's lifting up to go and eat Barbosa's ship. I don't know if this is supposed to be Barbosa's ship or not. I'm assuming that it is. If there's a crafting table here, which there is, I'm gonna make a diamond sword actually. Because I can make diamond swords now. Because I'm that cool. Why can't I make a diamond sword? Is this a piston? This is a piston, isn't it? Oh no. I can't make a diamond sword now. Oh, that's, oh yes I can. Uh, I need wood, which may be a little bit of an issue. Yeah, it doesn't really sticks. That's a shame. Um, I'm just gonna look away, everyone. Um, I'm just gonna do this, and then 
Just look away from your screens a second. Oh, look! I've got sticks! Wherever in the world would I have gotten those? So now we have a diamond sword, and it looks awesome. Just look at this, it looks like Blackbeard's sword. It looks so cool. Obviously, Barbosa has it um, in the fifth movie. But yeah, this looks so cool. It's the one that controls all the ropes, isn't it? The fourth movie also wasn't the best. I thought that has it had probably the funniest opening. With like um, ooh, um, with like the scene with the Spanish where Jack's just mucking around, and then he hears the screen slash scone thing, and then he throws it on the chandelier, and then he swings off it later, and then like he puts the napkin down, and oh poo. And then, like, the guy slips over the napkin out of a window and stuff, and it's just amazing. It's just the best opening to any Pirates of the Caribbean movie, ever. It just felt, like, too cool for Pirates of the Caribbean. And it gives you regeneration effects now when you eat, um, food and it puts you up to full hunger, which is really strange. And can I get any further up here? I cannot. But this looks so cool, just look down there. I'm gonna... Oh, that's the island place, isn't it? That's the... Ooh, I want to get in that cloud. That's the island place from the fifth movie. Um, where they take the stone out or something. And then it opens up the ravine with the trident. And yeah, it's it's a whole old... Uh, it's a whole old deal. If you want to watch the fifth movie, then watch the fifth movie. If you don't, then don't. It's pretty bad. So I would probably say don't. But if you want to, then you can. It's not really my choice. And what is this? Is this bedrock? This this is bedrock. It's not even cracking. Obsidian would at least crack, I think. Actually, might not. This might be obsidian. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check that out later. I'm just gonna go into creative, like after I've done this, and find out. Oh, this is the stone. This is the eye ender. And like. Because it was in a book, wasn't it? And then you put the stone back down, and then, like, it opens the ravine, and then you've got the trident and stuff, and, yeah. It's a whole thing. I'm not sure entirely what the thing is, but it exists. You can find out if you want. Is this supposed to be the ravine, then, maybe? I'm not sure. There should be a trident at the end of one of these, though, if it is. And I'm always open to a trident. Because it's a trident. The tridents are awesome. But yeah, let's have a look over here then, shall we? And let's go on the ship that is possibly Barbosa's. And let's do some stuff on Barbosa's ship. Because it's Barbosa's ship, and we don't like Barbosa. Actually, he's pretty cool. I didn't like him in the 4th and 5th, but he was cool in the 1st, 2nd and 3rd. Why am I going so fast? I'm swimming so fast, I didn't even know that I could go that fast. Why am I going that fast? Was it the dolphins, maybe? I'm not sure. That was a bit strange. And anyway, th this, like, even this looks cool. Like, it's not even that good of a boat. It looks awesome. It's just, it's so cool. I love, the, I love like, all 4J Studio stuff. It's just amazing. I wonder what the cakes look like in this. That could be interesting, actually. Hmm. Maybe that's something to find out another day. The real question is, is how close to night time is it? The time is, um... Um... Time is somewhere? Where is... Some sun oh, it is setting. You can see the orange glow along that side. So let's just sort of wait around the ship for a little bit and yeah then we'll get sorted and then we'll go to sleep. So let's just wait around here and wait for the sun to set. We can't even see it properly because this thing's in the way and it looks really awesome but it sort of takes away from it. And that looks really funny because that's like no, let's turn on clouds, hold on. Graphics are under clouds. Is that even on cloud level? That's not even on cloud level. That's like when clouds go through your build and it's really irritating. Shall we leave clouds on? I think we should leave clouds on for once. I never normally have clouds on because it just looks a bit strange. But I think that it'll add to it, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's just leave them on. Let's do something a little bit original. 
Oh, well, not original. That's not original. Let's do something a little bit different to what I normally do. Just to shake it up a little bit. And now the sun's probably going orange. Oh, they should have made it green instead of orange. Then it'd be like... Um, because the sky goes green, doesn't it, before it sets. And then, like, that's a soul turning to, uh, returning from the afterlife. It's something like that. Like, I'm not sure entirely. Um, and there we go. Yeah, now perfectly fine. Did I check this chest down at the bottom here? I did. Uh, yeah, let's keep on going. And I've only got two apples left, which is a little bit irritating. But I think I've got some pork now. Yes, I do. So we're slowly running out of food, but it's fine. We're going to have that happen inevitably anyway. So let's try and explore this thing. We've, 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 we've got like 10 minutes left. So it's perfectly fine for us to do that without us having to worry about running out of time. So yeah, let's do it. And this is really dark, but it's really awesome at the same time. Yeah, this whole place looks cool. Like, look at this. And it's just like, right, hold on, I think I'm get sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was yawning. Um, yeah, so it looks it looks like really cool. Like it looks like the actual movie where it's got like the overcast thing on it, and yeah, it just looks cool in general. It just looks awesome. And let's go up here. Nope, don't want to go up there. We want to go up here, and then there's another pole there and stuff. What's this pole? Is this like another mast? Maybe. I think it is. Yeah, like, all these broken ships even look awesome. Full Gear... Oh my goodness, look at that. Full Gear Studios have done amazing this time. It's just incredible. And this is all sucky down stuff, isn't it? Rather than sucky up stuff. So let's make sure that we don't drown. And we can't drown when we're in the bubbles. I know that. And these still cute boxes. They're still uh, no blocks. That's awesome. <coughs> Sorry. Um... Yeah, this entire texture pack, masher pack thing is awesome. It's just incredible. Like, look at this, like all the small details as well. Oh, that's why all the guardians were there. Oh, that makes sense. I found the cages. I knew that the cages would be there. We're going to have to visit there, like in a minute. And what is this place? What is this island? Is this just supposed to be like a miscellaneous island? Hmm. I'm not sure. How peculiar. Hmm. I don't entirely get this. I don't know what this is. Hmm. That's a bit strange. Maybe it's in the fan like in a fancy shape, maybe? Maybe it's the Pirate's Cove from the first movie. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. That could be a fair point actually. It might be that. Might just have like a cave in the side of it. If so, then there should be a huge boat around here somewhere that gets completely destroyed by a bunch of pirates, uh, ghost pirates. But by the looks of things, there isn't. Oh, there is. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness! It's like, oh, why can't I remember this name? It's Isla something, isn't it? Isla Nubla. Oh no. Isla Nubla. Okay, just turn you away from the screen a second, hold on. Um. Now, Isla Nublar is from a uh, thingy, isn't it? Um, Jurassic Park. Uh, Isla something. I can't remember. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, turn back to your screens. No. Okay, so it looks like we're back here. I saw you knew. So, uh, yeah, we definitely didn't fail. But yeah, Isla... Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Oh, there should have been space in here. I'm, I'm going to make a space in here. Just to make it like the actual movie. But yeah, this entire place looks so cool. Is this glowstone maybe? This isn't glowstone by the looks of things. Hmm. Gold? Oh, gold would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, there, there, there's a whole lot of splashing going on. Hold on a second, let me just deal with these guys. Before they end up taking me out. And they were able to anyway. Damn it, I keep dying. That, that's what happens when you end up, like, getting a whole load of mobs or mini beanies 
like getting really angry at you at once when you're not wearing any armor. So maybe I should be wearing some armor, but it's fine. And like, I'm sorry for using the flying, but I really want to explore this thing. And dying is not a good thing to do when you're trying to explore something. So, uh, let's just take you out. Like, I can't be bothered to deal with you properly. Oh no, I might die again, I might die again. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just go down here. And the music's awesome as well. The music's gone even awesomer than it was before. But yeah, let's carry on down here. And I'm really sure a creeper exploded. We just picked up some blocks. This entire cave system has gone forever. But yeah, since I saw this thing, I was like, I know what this is. Is it Isla something? It's not Isla Sauna or Nubla. Um, Isla Demorta. Is it Isla Demorta, isn't it? Yeah. I remember that now. Maybe we should have turned into, like, Will for this one? I don't know. But what? <laughs> why, is the, why is the arrow so huge? It looks like a crossbow bolt. I think the, uh, the bows are crossbows. But they're adding crossbows as well. Uh, to the game. So I'm not sure what the crossbows will be. Maybe they'll be guns. I don't know. I just sort of like the idea of having flintlocks and muskets and stuff in the Paris Caribbean Mesha Pack. Not in the actual game. That's just a bit stupid really, isn't it? It's like there's people that think that it would be better with guns. They should never add guns to Minecraft. There are some things that I'm like, okay, I can understand why someone might think that's a good idea. Guns in Minecraft, I don't. At all. But when it comes to a texture pack and retexturing things, I get it. Because it would be awesome to have a flintlock being Captain Jack Sparrow in Minecraft. Imagine how cool that would be. But anyway, this goes on for ages. Well, then we haven't, we haven't really explored all of it yet. We've explored nowhere near all of it yet. But yeah, it does go on for a while, doesn't it? How does it all just loop around, maybe? The real question is, how are you supposed to get out? If you weren't flying. That's the real question, isn't it? But I suppose we'll never find out. Um, well, I assume you'd go through that cave, maybe? I don't know, let's try it. And that ship, like... Ooh, what's this? This looks like... A, well, that is a sunken ship. Ah, oh, this looks cool, because they've even, like, redesigned the sunken ships to look like the royal ones. From the movie, that's awesome. So let's go around here and uh, see where it takes us to. Is this going to be... Oh, this, this is just a bunch of boats. I might empty my inventory out a little bit as well. Ivender, I won't need the Ivender, but I will, however, take a Nug boat and a Jungle boat, because why not? And yeah, it's Paris the Caribbean thing, so of course we need a boat. If you're not in a boat when you're exploring the Paris the Caribbean thing, you've made a big mistake. And I don't know why we're not in the boat now, actually. But look at this. This looks so cool. Like, all the, like, corroding wood and stuff. It's amazing. But this ship looks awesome. And I find it funny how it just goes from, like, uh, transitioning from one colour to the other, like, instantly. It just makes me laugh a little bit, especially with, like, the rigging and stuff. Ah, oh, I get why this isn't a big boat, because obviously, like, it's right at the world edge. So they couldn't build it any bigger. In the movie, it was a big thing. It was like a properly big thing. It was amazing in the movie. It looks like we can't get on top of it, which is a little bit irritating. And yeah, let's carry on going this way. Where are we now, though? And actually, you know what? We've uh, we've taken about 18 minutes so far. So I might as well just end the video here, and we'll start off the next video. I'll go and find somewhere in between the two videos. Oh, my boat has abandoned me. Uh, in between the two videos and then uh, in the beginning of the next video we'll be able to do some stuff and let's try and say ah okay so as always there'll be a link in the description um, when to the next video when it's online I thank you for watching and I hope to see you all later goodbye